You know what we're gonna play this time? Do you know what? It's time for a little Majora's Mask for a random gameplay video. Actually, no. Majora's Mask kind of sucks. So I'm gonna be playing some original Super Monkey Ball. I would love to make a walkthrough on this game, but I am not skilled enough to unlock the master stages. <laughs> so you're getting a random gameplay instead. I'll just go through the basic, easy course of sorts, which is the normal mode, just because it'll be nice and quick to go through. Well, I guess it won't be too quick. There's also some extra stages on beginner if you manage to get through here without continuing. Let's start floor one. Oh man, this looks extremely difficult. I, I'm not sure I can pass this one. No, it, it just looks way, way too hard. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go for it. Oops, I missed. I'll go through the back. <laughs> so there's the first stage, and let's go to the next one. Oh man, this is looking even harder. There's even a secret exit down there, which I'm not going to use, because that'll make this go even faster. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 there! Oh, I didn't think I'd be able to make it. <laughs> yeah, needless to say, the first couple of stages really, really easy, so I'm going to be able to get through these really quickly. Maybe it'll be too fast with a random gameplay and I'll have to do some advanced or something like that to fill out 15 minutes, because I can get through these stages really, really quick. As you can see, it's taking just seconds per stage, unless I'm you know, messing around. <laughs> and here we got a swingy thingy. Oh, this is just so hard. I will never, ever be able to make it. Ever. Oh, it's, it's coming back around. It's coming back around. Oh, I made it. I'm so lucky. <laughs> yeah, I'm skilled enough to manage to unlock the extra stages through the advanced stage mode but not through the expert mode. No way, not in the slightest. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a decent monkey ball player, but not good enough to unlock the masterful master stages. And I just don't see that happening anytime soon. <laughs> I've practiced the, stage, the stages so many times, but I can't get a consistent enough run on the 50 stage master mode, I mean expert mode, to get to the master stages, let alone the uh, extra stages on the expert uh, mode that I have never done before. And you can take some delightful shortcuts just by jumping off the edge like here for world record times, even though that's definitely not world record time, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> stage skips are great for time attacks. If you're into that sort of thing. Oh, we got some hills! That's going to be so hard to get past! Oh no, what am I going to do about it? So I'll just get a running start and stop complaining about it, PK Gam. <laughs> yeah, you just want to go up the, the hills as straightforward as you possibly can. You'll get up them quite easily. Woo! Now, uh, this might be the first stage that you'll have trouble with on the beginner mode. The Dole product advertisement <laughs> stage here because you have these diagonal moving platforms and they're pretty small for a beginner but otherwise if you're decent at the game you probably will not because it'll skip all the way to the opposite corner <laughs> you'll recognize the pattern immediately and just zip right to it uh, this next one here also might give a beginner trouble because of that bounce at the end you need to get a decent amount of speed to do the bounce properly and you, you should also do it at a certain angle like something like here and control your speed, voila! And one more that will probably give a beginner trouble. The final floor! And this game reminds me so much of Marvel, Ma like Marvel Madness or something like that. You know, the NES game? Well, you might not know that. Go look it up. It's fun. <laughs> and there's also little lips on the edges, as you can see here, to help prevent you from falling off. But that doesn't quite help here, of course. And you, if you have enough speed, you can just make yourself fly right off the edge, and that wouldn't work out too well in your favor. And we have, here we have a hill, push up hard while getting 
yourself angled straight, and we got ourselves a gentle curve. It is not a big deal either, I'm just kind of being reckless though. <laughs> I should be going a little bit slower, but whatever. Made it without dying once, well, falling off once. Let's see if I can do the extra stages without falling off once. Probably not, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> I will try my best. I believe there's three of them. Oh, outer space awesomeness. All right, for this one, you just want to stay in rhythm with these moving panels like this. Stay on the front edge and go from one edge to another to the goal. I love the really, really shiny surface of these extra stages. It doesn't make it any more like slippery compared to any other stage. In fact, there's even an ice stage uh, in this game, but it doesn't make it any harder or any slipperier than the others. Uh, you want to wait for this goal to slow down, otherwise it's going to fling you off the edge like this. There we go. And whoop! And the final stage of beginner! This one is kind of tricky to get the hang of. It's wobbly! <laughs> get on it. Careful. Balance out and feel the turns. There we go. <laughs> That was not as hard as I remember it in the slightest. <laughs> I was expecting to have a little more trouble on the extra stages, but nope. I just picked up the game and kicked their butt. <laughs> How did I get that many points? I don't... I must have gotten a lot of bananas or something like that. <laughs> uh, maybe later. I'm gonna go to the advanced mode to do some stages there, I suppose, to fill out the ye old video. And no, I'm, I'm skipping the st credits. No, the credits are too long. I But I did not make the game. These people did. That would come up in the credits if you played this far into the game. <laughs> I'm just making the video on it. Please let me go. Thank you. <laughs> and come on. Advanced. Advanced. Yeah. Must play harder stages. And here we go. Oh, this looks way, way harder than the first stage in Beginner. Look at that little bounce here. I will never, uh, ever be able to make it past this. Uh, ever. Oh, 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 I accidentally did it. <laughs> Okay, I should probably shouldn't mess around too much here because I'm like eight minutes into the video and yeah, let's just take a nice leisurely pace through the stages, but yet still slightly brisk at the same time. Look out for the bumpers. I'm just going to hop this hole because I can. <laughs> it's like, why detour around it when you can just hop the lip? And this one has moving platforms. I'm going to go to the right side to follow it. And crisscross over. Voila! Look at that monkey shake his butt with excitement! <laughs> and up, oh, slightly harder version of the other one! Oh, oh geez, what am I gonna do? There's no borders and it's a lot thinner. Oh, goodness gracious. Great balls of monkeys. Oh, 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 I made it. <laughs> Yeah, even the advanced stages, not all that hard to me. Oh, but the expert ones, those, those are the ones that are going to destroy you. <laughs> it's like once you get the hang of the game's controls and the physics and stuff like that, the stages, the, I mean the earlier stages are not going to give you much trouble whatsoever, but oh man, if you try those experts. The experts are definitely for the experts. Okay, this one's got a flippy panel thingy there on that side. You want to get it when it's on its way up, preferably, so that it's not quite as steep and you can aim for the goal with a little bit more control, like this. Yeah, you get the idea. See, I've got these stages well, well practiced. <laughs> and I even got them with the ex- Oops. <laughs> I even got them with the expert stages as well. And I'm getting a little bit too hasty here. Yeah, that's what I want to do. 
but then I can also cross over to that side if I had enough speed, but maybe I'll just be a little more careful. I don't have to be too careful though, there's enough of a lip to keep me from rolling right off the side, providing I have too much speed. And... Boop. Voila! Next one is... Oh, this one's like a downhill... Dodge the walls along the way. The walls aren't really all that threatening, just don't nick them on the corner, otherwise you'll probably get knocked off that way. And you can also slow down pretty well, so you can carefully go down this slope if you'd like to. They give you plenty of time to do it, as you can see by the clock there. And boop! But I don't see why you would even need to, it's just that easy. <laughs> Nine! Here we go! And this is a different version of the beginner one that I said would give beginners a bit of trouble. This one you probably want to do in two shots. Like, wait on a corner. Uh, I guess I guess I could have made it to the corner if I would have really rushed it. I mean, to the opposite corner to get to the goal, but eh. Be a little bit safer. And to this corner. And... Goal! No problem. Bonus floor! This one's got like a ripple effect of sorts to try and screw you up, but you can easily roll over the ripples, even sideways, because the ripples are moving, I mean, you're moving against the ripples, so it, it, they don't really offset you that much, as you can see what I'm doing here, just collecting the bananas in a uh, very linear fashion. <laughs> And uh, the ripples are a little bit stronger in the center, but still manageable. And boop. This pleases PK Gam. Ah, uh, uh, getting harder and forward. Eleven. If you dare, you can go down the point one size uh, track there. But nah, I'm just going to do the 1.0 here, just because of safety. Obviously, if you get down the uh, other side of the track there, you'll be able to take a little stage skip sort of dealio here, but I'm not planning on skipping any stages because I like to show all the stages. Skipping stages is definitely useful when you are doing a uh, run through the expert stages, you know, when you're trying to get through without a continue. And for this one, you just want to go around the edge, get to the upper side, and boop, into the goal. You gotta use momentum to get up there. It takes a little practice, but not all that hard whatsoever. And this one's got some bouncy floors. See those things on the side? They tell you when the floor is going to pop up, like when it touches the edge of it. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. This, do I want... I don't remember if I want to use that or not. I think I do. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> I didn't quite remember that part of the stage, but I tried it anyway, because it, it looked flat enough for me to be able to control it easily, so I just gave it a shot. This is kind of a weird stage here. We've got these punching things here that you gotta get through, and they kinda stop you along the way here. Maybe I should be going along the outside, if at all possible, and then going back to the inside, because they kinda, I mean, they sorta of follow you a little bit. Maybe, is this one going to get me from the outside? Woo! Oh, actually, I think it's following the tilt of the stage. I didn't, I never paid attention to that before. Because if you didn't know, in monkey ball games, you're not actually controlling the monkey. You're actually controlling the tilt of the stage, believe it or not. But it really feels like you're controlling the monkey. But that's why you feel like you see that on the camera when I tap the control stick back and forth like that. That is me actually moving the stage and not the monkey. The monkey is just kind of walking with the ball wherever it goes. Do not get too close to the edge on these things, otherwise you're going to fall off. So stay close to the center. Careful here, you don't want to go too fast and get knocked off. Good. And floor 16, I'm just blazing through these things. Got some treadmills, which really do not affect you all that much, <laughs> believe it or not, despite how it seems. I mean, they do affect your momentum, but you just have to control your speed. And I mean, you're in a ball, so the treadmill basically makes you slide in a way, and it doesn't affect you that much. <laughs> Oh, floors are getting thinner, what am I going to do about it? Well, I'm just going to beat the stage, of course. <laughs> I mean, what else can I do about it? we got an uphill thing coming up here. Turn the camera, get it straightened. There we go. you got to sort of manipulate the camera as well as the stage. It's, it's a thing of practice. Could I just, like, jump off? I probably could jump off there to get to the goal a little bit faster. Woo! 
got a little bit hasty there. But I'm not going to. I should have enough time to get through this final gauntlet S-curve. It's more like a double S-curve. Mm, actually, there's three curves. Never mind. Damn. <laughs> don't worry about the time. Just keep your pacing. If it says hurry up, don't hurry up. Just keep your pacing. And you'll make it. Voila! And here is a note. I'm gonna aim for the blue goal, uh, because that's the one that doesn't give you, um, it doesn't make you skip stages, but you gotta race the goals down to the bottom. I believe the only way to get the, to the other goals is to actually jump off on the top onto a lower layer, and then just like wait for them to come towards you, if at all possible. But the blue one's easy to just nick like that. If you don't get them in time, they'll fly off the edge. <laughs> and here's one similar to stage 9, the beginner course. This one is a little bit harder because it gets smaller as you go. I should say the bouncy thingies get hard, smaller as you go. And you've got this moving platform. Don't let the platform move out from underneath you, and you should be fine. And here is the similar portion to the beginner 9. Just get at it from an angle and avoid the bumpers. There we go. And bonus stage! This one's even easier than the second bonus stage in the advance because it doesn't have any ripples. <laughs> you just go in between the bumpers in diagonal lines like this and you'll be able to get through this with plenty of time to spare. Unless, of course, you get you start getting like stuck in between the bumpers and start bouncing around like crazy. But there's so much room in between the bumpers that you've got a lot of room to spare and yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is where things start to get tricky, but not too much more tricky. You want to follow the bumpers around, try and follow the front one fairly closely, because there's going to be a, a very quick transition sequence with little room to spare. And follow it to the left. Just stay with the rhythm of these. It's just a crossover in the center, that's the hard part. Because otherwise, I mean, there's not much room in between the bumpers, and they're, you know, they're coming at you from behind and in front, and that would really suck if you got bounced off the edge. Oh, there's a much harder one version of this in the expert mode with little stakes all over the place, and it is really annoying, but this one is really easy. <laughs> Just don't fall down the center and you'll be fine. Just stay on the outside corner and you'll have, I mean, outside edge of that funnel and you won't have any trouble whatsoever. This one's got a lot of holes. But it's, it is such a linear path that you really don't have to worry too much about getting any dead ends or something like that. Uh, I know the path pretty dang well, obviously, as you can tell what I'm doing here. <laughs> I played the heck out of this game before when I got it, way back when I got the GameCube. So I know this game really well, but I'm still not good enough to unlock the master stages. This game is so hard. Well, at least the experts are. This one's a tilty thingy, as you can tell. Stay on the upper upper side of it, if at all possible. And switch sides as it shifts weights. There we go. Next one, I like that you get a little preview of the next stage as you are being transported up to the next stage. By the way, you can take a shortcut to the goal by using that hole over there just by skipping a large portion of it. But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Whoa! I just want to do the stage normally. Come on, Pikagam, get up the hill, you can do it! Look out for the Pistons of Death! You could also bounce down to the goal from here, but as I said, I'm not going to do that either. <laughs> Just want to do the stage normally. This is like a obstacle course to test all of your willpower and skills, and whoops, did not have enough speed to get up there, that's okay, I'll just try it again. And, oh, come on! <laughs> That is sad! Fine, I'll just take the little bouncy hole. <laughs> oh shoot, that's the warp thing? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, which stage was I on? Oh, I'm, a, I'm on 25. I'll show the other stages after this, I think. Yeah, that's okay. But anyway, yeah, warps are really, really good for when you want to get through the place without taking any continues, you know, to unlock the extra stage of each world, and voila. Just stay with the rhythm of those spikes, especially the bananas. The ban bananas are a good indication of where you should be on the floor there. 
Uh, this one. Please tilt. Yes, they do. Okay. I was gonna. I was gonna say that's a little worrisome if I have to actually. If I have to bounce between one to the other. Final stage. Well, final floor, but it's not actually the final one. You have to go something like this and this to here. Transition over to the small one. Get on this and ride it to the goal. And there we go. You just have to get on that outer edge of the fast platform and get to the goal. No problem. Dang that bungle on stage 25. <laughs> Uh, what? I don't get... Shouldn't it have given me the extra mode stages? I didn't... I didn't use a continue or game over? Huh? Oh, it's because I used the warp. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'll show you the extra stages in the practice mode, as well as the stages that I missed. I completely forgot about that! Oh, that makes me sad. But as you can tell, as I was playing, those stages don't give me much trouble whatsoever. So I would have definitely made it to the extra stages. Especially doing that good run on floor, th floor 30. That's by far the hardest one of the advanced mode. Uh, aside from the extra stages, of course. Alright! And practice mode! And you'll see in the stages here, didn't unlock the masters, that's very sad. Uh, let's get over to advance, and I did, it was 25. Well, actually, I didn't do 25, did I? Or did I? Well, I'll just, well I kind of did it. <laughs> I'm going to do. Well, maybe you can't skip stages, that's... I could have swore you could skip stages and still... Um... And still be able to get to the extra stages, but I guess I was wrong about that. Because I definitely didn't use a continue there. Alright, for this... You gotta keep your speed up. If you have your speed up, this is really, really easy to do. Just stay in the middle of the spiral, it'll get smaller and smaller as you go. And that's pretty much it for the stage. Really, really easy stage. Although, when you get to the end and it just tilts to the right, to the center like that, it's it's kind of tricky to stay on, but as long as you have your speed up the whole way, you should be able to keep under under control. And like that. And next stage... No. Uh, stage select. <laughs> In practice mode, it'll keep asking you to try the uh, stage over and over again so that you can practice it, ironically. <laughs> Alright, right here you've got to do one of these things, bounce, get enough speed to get up to the goal, very, very easy. As long as you have enough speed, you'll make that jump with no problem whatsoever. Stage selects! <laughs> mm, I did that one... Advanced EX... And this is... Oh, that's a re... Oh, this is a repeat of... You already seen me do this one easily. Uh, this one... Oh, it's not a repeat. It's a it's a larger and faster version of the uh, other spinny goal one. So this The concept is the same, that you just have to wait for it to slow down so that you can get inside the goal. And like, now is good. There. There's not much time for you to get in there when it slows down, so just recognize when it's starting to slow down and then just go for it. Stage select! Number three, this one's new, that one's not new, so three and five are left. Five is... oh my, I just remembered what that is. Alright, for this one, you will not have enough time to get to the goal if you actually follow this entire track. You, it's just, you will not have enough time. You actually have to skip ahead a little bit to do so. And you gotta do it at this corner, preferably. So get in a reverse direction. And jump the corner. Now follow this path quickly. Go around. Is there opposite spirals, by the way, in case you didn't pick up on that? You guys should have gone on to. I should have bounced off into the inside path. I don't know. I hope I have enough time to do it. 
I can do it, I can do it, I'm, I can feel it. Needless to say, this is the kind of stage that wastes your time as opposed to trying to knock you off the stage. Although, the rushing factor can make you fly off the edge of the stage. Voila! Look off of those asteroids as you're leaving the place. <laughs> Actually, you can't control that whatsoever. Alright, number five. This one is like... This one's like stage 30 of the advanced. Oh my. But it's a lot larger. A lot larger. This is how I got good at stage 30 after a while, getting good at this stage. <laughs> so I had to be good to manage to pass the sucker. Come on, wait for a platform to come around. There it is. And transition over. And gotta get onto one of these long ones. Ugh. Careful of that ring, by the way. Oh, I have to use the ring, don't I? <gasps> okay. I forgot about that. So what I want to do here is get onto the ring, get off the ring, do not fall. Oh, so close! So close! Because that ring encircles the entire stage. Oh, that's too bad. Do not touch the bumper whatsoever. That's an instant kill. Well, an instant fallout. No! Crappers! <laughs> yeah, this one is much, much harder than 30. Um, carefully. You can do it, PK Gam. Believe in yourself. Believe in the heart of the monkeys. Is that such a thing? Well, I suppose monkeys do have hearts. Dang it! The uh, speed pushed me off the edge. Because it has... I mean, that ring has so much speed, the uh, momentum actually pulls you away from the center. So you gotta keep adjusting yourself as you go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Get on here. Good. Uh. Now, oh, that ring, the outer ring. I hate you so much. <laughs> Come on. Uh. That outer ring is probably the most nerve-wracking part. Although all these little thin moving platforms are nothing to uh, scoff at either. <laughs> See, this is what I mean about me not not being that good at monkey ball. When it's straightforward stuff, I am decent at it, but when it's stuff that requires a lot of careful, precise movements at high speed, it's just not going to work out for me. <laughs> There's a lot of stages like that in extra mode. Mm, transition over, good. Now watch out for the ring. Get over to the edge. Don't let it touch you. And flip flop over like that. Let the ring flip over so it doesn't knock me over. Okay. Just want to see where it is so it doesn't screw me. <laughs> Careful. It's going to come up pretty fast. Okay. And finally. And that's all I'm going to be doing for this random gameplay. I am not skilled enough for the extra stages to unlock the master. Oh, uh, whoops, my camera ran out of memory. <laughs> well, anyway, as I was saying, I am not skilled enough for the extra stages, so I am not good enough to make a walkthrough on this game. Uh, the only way I'd ever, well, at least I think right now, that I'd be able to get to the master stages is by using an action, action replay or something like that, but that is not a walkthrough. That is just cheating to get there. <laughs> Because I don't really have any good strategy to get through the stages, and therefore I cannot explain in the videos how to do them. So this is all you're getting in terms of Monkey Ball 1. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Best porting job ever.